day guys welcome back again I'm going to do some more swiping for you today and I'm going to swipe with white because I think the last few videos I did I swiped with black or I did one with navy which was ended up being a transparent color in the global which I didn't realize at the time that they get a totally different effect with the uh, transparent color so let's go with white and it's an opaque right let's put some oil in uh, I have got 70% glue 30% water and I'm just using the glue oil today so in my cups I've got 60 grams of pouring medium and 30 grams of paint the turquoise I had to put an extra 10 grams of paint in it because it was really quite thin and the navy I had to add a little splash of water so I'm going to put three drops of silicone oil oops oh that was like four it's coming out really fast there we go three and a bit of a stir probably going around about eight times okay so um the other thing i'm doing today is i'm trying a different plastic uh, usually i use oh where is it i usually use quite a firm sort of a plastic uh, just a document holder that I've cut the sides and the top and the bottom out so it's two sheets. Uh, and then I thought, I wonder what will happen if I use something a bit thinner. So this is, it's also um, a plastic pocket that I've, I've cut out. See, it, I've left it double sided because I didn't want to make it too thin, but it was a plastic pocket. So I'm just going to swipe with that and just see what difference a lighter weight plastic makes. So a thicker one and a, and a really a thinner one. So let's see. Okay, um, now I'm going to swipe from the top down. So I'm going to leave space at the top for my white. That can go there. And I've got uh, navy, which is deep space. It's that guy. And then I've got this one, which is cool blue. And this one is a peachy colour, it's called shrimp. And then my turquoise. And then as I said, I'm just swiping with white. Rightio, got my torch ready. So where the white is the thickest at the top, I'd like, oh, it's a bit wobbly that, that's a scraped canvas. Um, just bend it back. I'd like the navy to be sort of more at the top, but I'm going to just squiddle it all over basically. I'll leave a little bit in the bottom there just in case I need to cover any of my sides. Now maybe not too much of this turquoise because it can be a bit domineering domineering <laughs> it can take over it can be a dominant color <laughs> it's not a domineering color okay that's the peach and some blue let's put the blue up here so because I'm doing a white swipe I've gone for relatively dark-ish colors um, unless you want really pale pour, you really don't want to use pale colours with a, a white swipe because the white's going to dull everything down anyway. Okay, so now basically what I want to do is just cover the canvas. I don't want to go over my edge there because I want white on the, on the very top there. Probably put a little bit too much blue there. It doesn't matter too much if you get it on there, but I'd like it just to be white. Because it's white, you're going to be able to see through it when when it dries. So try and get that off. I'm 
give it another wipe in a minute. Get my cups out of the way. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna go straight down, cover my sides, come down a little bit. Um, as I've said in my previous swiping videos, don't leave too much paint on your surface. And you won't get a good effect. Your cells will just all stretch out and go wobbly. You'll, you'll swipe and you'll think, wow, that looks good. And then half an hour later, your cells will all be all wobbly and out of shape and probably falling off the surface because you've just left too much paint on there. looks pretty good. I've got a couple of corners that just need a little bit of paint and I've got plenty left in my cups. So this is probably more than enough paint. I don't need all of this paint. Uh, I think I made up, um, what was it now, I wrote it down. Four hundred and fifty grams, but I probably think four hundred will be ample. So the white I've just kept the same thickness. I'm going to use the heat to to bring the cells up. So I'm going to pour some white over here, and I would like that to run over the edge so that the back edge is covered. Can't see that's covered or not. And then because once I've swiped down I'm going to run out of white by about halfway so I want some more white here to pick up and then cover the rest of this otherwise there's going to be not much white here. So let's just do a bit of a zigzag like that and pick up some extra white. Now, I just want to make sure I've got everything covered. Yep, I think that's got it. Getting cells and funny shapes, things happening already. Okay, so let's try this. Hopefully this is going to work and I haven't wasted all this paint. So just don't touch the very edge if you can help it, the very top. Oh, it's, see, it's very light, it's sticking already. With my other one, I had more control over where it was sitting because it was a little bit heavier. I could sort of pick it up and move it, whereas this, once it was down, that was it, it stuck. You know how glad wrap or saran wrap sticks as soon as you put it down? That's difficult to pick up again, so it was kind of like that kind of had more control with the thicker piece but let's just see how it goes. I've just wiped it uh, and now for my edges I'm just going to get a little card a little paint chip card from the hardware store. I won't worry about that side that's okay. I'll just sorry I'm in the, the light here. It's going to Pick up that bit of paint there and run it down the edge. There we go, just so it matches in. Right, let's do some torching. Not too much. We'll do a little bit and stop and wait. I think I probably did a bit too much under over here. So here where the white is thinner over the top of the paint, uh, the cells can come up more easily and they may be a little bit uh, less round because they haven't got as much white paint surrounding them. Whereas up here they'll be more in a round shape because the white paint is holding them in, in place, not really letting them move if that makes sense to you.
I'm going to go quite high into the white there, see if there's anything under there. That white's pretty thick up there, so it might not be so easy for the paint to, the cells to come through that white. Let's have a look. I don't know, I think I like, it's a very, very thin amount of white that's come over. And I really like this top section here where these cells are nicely formed. They pop through the thicker white paint and then down here where the white paint's so a bit thinner, you can definitely see the difference in the, the cell structure. So I'm not sure if that was, it's probably because there's more paint up here obviously than down here. As I said, it all gets washed away or wiped away. Um, or it could just be because the, the plastic didn't quite catch the white. It caught some of the colors underneath and dragged those on top. So yeah, I'll have to have another go and, and see. But uh, yeah, really like that top section there. I'll show you, I'll take you down for a close up and show you the difference. And you can see what I mean. So up here, where the paint is thicker over the surface, when the cells have popped up, they've stayed in their nice round shape because they haven't been able to stretch out. Whereas down here, where there's been less white on the surface, they're not as well shaped. You see the difference? So yeah, interesting, eh? Still pretty. And then we've got that tiny little blue one all the way up there on its own. Making a statement. Look at me! I'm all the way up here on top of you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Uh, I'll go again and I'm going to use my other plastic sheet, my normal plastic, and just see what difference I get. Alright, so I'll be back for that one. See you in a minute. Bye for now.